Okay, so in this episode, we're going to talk about how to make sub pages inside our website. And if you take a look at the website we have so far here, you guys will actually notice we don't actually have any sub pages yet. So what I would like to do is I would like to make a gallery page. And once we do actually click the gallery up in the uh, menu we have up here, I would like to go to that page. And then in the next episode, we will create a gallery inside that page. So the way we create a sub page is by going into our code editor and simply creating a new file. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this file inside our root folder and I'm going to go ahead and call it gallery.html. You don't have to call it gallery like I did here. You can call it whatever you want. The only thing you have to call a certain thing is the front page, which is index.html. But any other kind of sub page, you can just kind of rename for your liking. So I'm going to go ahead and save this one. And now we essentially do actually have a sub page. So if you go into our front page here, we do actually need to add some of the things we have in here. For example, do we actually need to add our header? So if I copy from the first tag of our section, the actual starting tag of the section, actually, let's go ahead and copy everything in here because we need both the footer and the header and everything. So copy everything from your front page, paste it inside your gallery page, and then go to the section tags. I actually have my closing tag here and delete everything inside the section tag. So I'm just going to go ahead and scroll up a little bit here to actually hit the section. There we go. And delete. So now we do actually have the head and the beginning of our document in here. We do need all of this on every single page. So we have the head, we have our body tag, we have our header, which has our menu in it. We have our section with nothing in it yet. Then we have the footer at the bottom. So if I save this and refresh my website, you guys will actually notice once I do actually hit gallery, we go to the gallery page. And the reason we do go to the gallery page is because inside my header, where I have my navigation, I did actually tell it that once I click the gallery link, it needs to take me to a gallery.html document, which is the name of the document we just created. So if you did in fact name it something different than gallery, then you'd need to change the link inside your navigation as well. So what we can do now is we can actually go ahead and talk about um, adding the gallery because right now if we were to add something inside the section, all we need to do is on every single sub page, simply delete everything from the section and then add whatever you need to in here. So in this case, we could actually create a div and give it a class and call it gallery dash box. And then when we actually do get to create the gallery in the next episode, we do have a div box ready for the gallery. So this is how you create sub pages and it's really not that difficult. Um, and we can actually go ahead and just create all the other ones we have here as well. We have a forum, we have a, well, we have another gallery that should probably be tutorials like I have in the URL. Uh, I also have another forum down here, which should be about, and then I have the contact down here. So let's go ahead and create forum tutorials about contact. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up four documents here. I'm going to go ahead and copy everything from my gallery since we might as well take that one, paste it into the first one, save it as forum.html. Take the second one we have, paste everything in, save it as, what was it? Let's go ahead and use about.html. And then we also need to have the, let's see, we have the forum, we have, well, we did actually change everything in here. So now we did actually screw something up. We need to take the navigation from the front page to be changed because we didn't actually change it inside all the sub pages. Now, this is an issue that you guys might be asking about because if we have eight different sub pages and there's a menu in every single one of them and you change one thing in the menu, yes, using HTML only, you're going to have to go into every single sub page and update the menu. And that's just something you have to do if you only want to use HTML. If you want to add something like PHP, you can actually do it without having to go into every single page. You can actually just do it in one document. But since we're not doing PHP right now, we should just go ahead and do it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and copy everything now again from our, well, just one of the sub pages we created with the new menu in it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and copy it inside the other documents as well. So right now it would actually be, well, why do we have two? 
Oh, it's because I'm looking at the, the footer. We need to look at the, the navigation up here. So up here, we would have to create a tutorials. Tutorial with an S dot HTML. And the last one would actually be contact. So let's go and paste everything in, save it. Say contact dot HTML, like so. So now we have all the sub pages we have inside the menu. I'm just gonna go ahead and save all of them. And as you guys noticed, we did actually need to change the footer menu as well. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go to the footer of my front page. Actually, we do need to carry down the menu from the top here since it's essentially gonna be the same. Go down to my footer, which is all the way at the bottom. Change all the links and do that on every single page. Make sure we save it. And then go down to every single sub page and change the footer as well. Like so. And make sure we also change it at the top because I did actually change the footer on some of them instead of the actual main navigation. So this one is not correct. Just make sure that the footer and the top navigation is the same on all the pages. And here we go. This one is not correct either. This one is tutorials. We have the top one is correct. The bottom one is not correct. So now we change the footer there. And on the last one, we need to change the footer as well. So there we go. Now the footer and the top navigation, if I refresh, the same as they are on all pages. So if I zoom in so you guys can actually see, you guys can actually see it's the same. If I go to forum, you'll uh, notice that our uh, URL up here changes to forum.html. If I go to tutorials, it changes to tutorials, about, goes to about, contact, it goes to contact. If we go back to the front page, we have the front page. So now everything is working inside our sub pages. Now the next episode, like I said, we're gonna talk about how to make a gallery. And then after that, we're gonna talk about how to actually upload a website online. Now, I got a question in one of the uh, comments inside YouTube asking me about if, well, I did actually include a forum up here in the menu. And if we were to actually create a forum, we would actually need to know PHP code because you can't create a forum just with HTML and CSS since it has to be interactive. You need to add a specific kind of code that can make it interactive. And PHP is one of those languages we can add to that. Now, since we haven't really talked about PHP yet, we won't actually be creating a forum in this example. But once we do actually get to the PHP code inside our uh, website here inside YouTube, then I will actually be using this example to create a forum inside our website. So with HTML and CSS only, we cannot do this. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.